Hello everyone, it's Professor095 back with a review of a uh, Samurai Sentai Shinkenja Shodo phone. Um, this morpher in itself is from Samurai Sentai Shinkenja as I've mentioned earlier. Um, and in the US, it's called Power Rangers Samurai. Now, they have their version uh, of Shodo phone, it's the Samurizer, but um, today I will be only reviewing on the shoulder phone in itself. So um, I got this loose as well. This is a second hand, but um, I'm more inclined to really like to share this, uh, review this uh, video. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get into the details of this phone in itself. So um, uh, first off, you see um, here on the top, you have a shoulder phone. You have the 2000 uh, 2009 which is like uh, 809 but in actuality it's 2009 which is the year of their premiere so you have if you see this a little bit closer is ST33 Sentai number 33 digital changer now and it's a very bulky phone in itself and there's something on the um, and there's this part uh, on off switch is here you have the cameras and the speakers here. Um, unlike any other morphers that, uh, and unlike any other normal morph uh, morphers, this one requires two LR44 batteries. Uh, so you don't have to buy double A's or you have to buy triple A's. Um, it only takes two LR44 batteries in itself. Now, if you open this phone, um, you have all of these. Uh, keypads and stuff you have the henshin uh, henshin.jvg um, i think this was hilarious itself um you have the shinkenja logo you have 2009 you have the full battery nice coverage you have the mode you have the brush you have the origami you have the call you have the message uh i think this is brightness and this is camera mode uh so without further ado um if you open it it becomes like this on this side um so without further ado let's turn this on I don't know if you can hear that, but it has a. Uh, I'm gonna start this again. It has a red LED in the middle, so. Okay, so it opens. Uh, so when I switch that on, it plays that sound. Now, um. So if this buttons, actually can be pressed. And it goes around that certain melody at, uh, and, and stuff. Um, the buttons here don't do anything. These are all solid, one piece of plastic. So uh, you can't press this, there's no sounds to it. Uh, but if you press this green button, uh, it rings three times and that's it. And if you want to cancel that halfway, you can just press any button. Now, um, the this middle uh, f uh, middle red buttons here are the sounds of the origami. So if you press the first button, uh, that's Shishi origami, which is uh, Shinken Red's uh, mecha. And if you press on this one. That is the Ryu Origami or the Dragon Origami, which is uh, piloted by Shinken Blue. And if you have uh, press this button, that's the Kuma Origami or the Bear Origami, which is piloted by Shinken Green. And if you press this button, uh, that's Saru Origami or Monkey Origami, piloted by Shinken Yellow. And the last one. That is the Kame Origami or Turtle Origami piloted by Shinken Ping. Uh, I don't know if Turtle sounds like that, but never mind. Uh, that's that. Uh, so yeah, uh, these 10 buttons are only functional, but not on this one. Uh, so that's that. And the main gimmick of this Shodo phone, if you haven't watched uh, Samurai Sentai Shinkenja, uh, do watch that. Uh, just to get this, uh, understand this gimmick, but if you don't, uh, I'm just gonna reveal it to you. One of the main gimmicks of this um, phone is that you can do this.
So it's a phone that can transform into a brush, which is a very, very novel concept. I've never actually seen a Sentai toy that utilizes um, this kind of like approach before. So I think this is quite, um, quite unique, quite fresh to the designs back then. Um, back then uh, everyone just uses the you know like gal ranger if you just press in the middle button and everything can just uh, you just transform and voila you 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 transform but in shinkenja's case you transform this into a brush you write mojikara onto it and then you press this green button to finish your transformation and stuff um like i've said um these buttons are uh, uh, red, blue, green, uh, yellow, and pink. These are all the sounds of the origami. Even if you change, even if you change it to brush mode, this uh, sounds are still the same, except the green button. Um, so if you press this once more without holding it. It automatically like uh, helps you transform into any of the Shinkenjos. Now, if you hold it long enough, uh, if you hold it very long enough, you don't need to have that kind of like that uh, transformation sounds thingy. Uh, it just continues for you to like write any moji kara that you want and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's that. Um, the brush is of obviously uh, plastic, but I think it's uh, it's a spring loaded. Um, this is all plastics and stuff. You have this other side of the brush here, um, and it's fairly. I think it's following the. I think it's actually scale really properly to the show and stuff. So if you really want to transform it back, you just like fold it and then you just press the brush back down and voila, you're in phone mode again. Uh, but just in case, If you transform it to the brush mode and let the Mojikara sound brush for like uh uh like about like fifteen to twenty seconds or maybe uh fifteen seconds I guess, uh it automatically helps you transform into any of the Shinkenjus. So if I were to demo this again, shoulder phone, it pits sojo, um you draw your Mojikara and then you press this button and you are Shinkenjo. So you just brush it and you just Crush this button and you can just have this Mojikara sounds and stuff so I'm just gonna demo one more time um, like in the show Shodo phone uh, it pips sojo so if you just basically just wave your phone in the air your phone brush in the air and just just draw your kanji and then you press the screen button and voila you're one of the shinkenjers and stuff so uh between um between this shodo phone and the samurizer from power rangers samurai um i'd rather go for this one um, if you ever get a shoulder phone, or if you ever get a shoulder phone, uh, do get it uh, because it's a very, uh, very unique design. If compared to Samurizer, I think Samurizer takes a lot of the unique features away uh, that all the shoulder phone have, uh, which is a bummer. Uh, and it doesn't really have that kind of a Mojikara that uh, allows you to have that Mojikara brush mode. So, um, if you get the hands. If you ever saw a samurizer, if you if you can get your hands on, a uh, samurizer, please do. Uh, although it's a little bit bulky, but the samurizer is a little bit sleeker. I think overall, uh, it actually ties in into the team of like the Japanese samurai team of like Shinkenja so much because it uses number one, it uses the brush, and uh, number two, it has a lot of like um sounds in the mecha and the show, uh, which is really good. Um. Uh, I've never thought that they can actually use this concept, but they actually pull it off and I give props to Toei for doing this. So, yeah. Uh, so, long story short, get yourself a shoulder phone. It's really good. Uh, without, further ado, uh, without further ado, this has been the review of um, 
Professor095 signing out. Signing out. Bye.